This is all about getting dressed for three different things I do during the day. First thing I generally do in the mornings, I have Zoom calls. So I need something really glorious around here. And I wear often a bright blue shirt. But the other thing I'll do is metallic, which is really strong this season. So this I got from ALC or something. But it's the Olsen twins who do the row, which is prohibitively expensive clothing, which I can't buy. And then they do a diffusion range I knew nothing about. But I got this in the Joseph sale at the weekend for literally 100 quid. Love it. Gossima. You know, like my scarf. For my makeup for that, it will be really simple. I'm going to do de-stress two pumps because I might wake up a little bit tired and I might be like on a call and I don't have time. Literally, I've got out of bed. I've cleaned my skin. That's done in two seconds. And then I'll probably literally put on a quick lip. I'm going to put on Myco like that. I'll probably put a bit on my cheek. Okay, so that's that look. Now, I might be running around having a meeting, but being sort of indoor, outdoor, and I'll put on, I love this so much. I got this, do you remember, from Zara, and it's just a sort of, like a coat jacket. So, works brilliantly well as a layering piece, and I'm wearing so comfortable. I mean, I didn't think I would get to the stage of doing total, you know, sweatpants, but these are me and M, and I have them in black, the high waist is phenomenally flattering. So that's my kind of like running around wanting to be chic, but that's it, nothing else done. But then suddenly I've been invited out for dinner. So I'll take off my duster coat and then I'll think, okay, well, I wanna sex up the makeup. Let's do that really quickly because I don't have time. So I'm gonna get Chariot, literally the color of the blouse, but it's such a pretty, pretty shade. And when you're thinking about makeup, whether it's Trini London or other makeup, it's just about using makeup that flatters your skin tone, but also also amps up the shades you're wearing so that they all flatter one another. So sometimes taking inspiration from what you're wearing, if that color you naturally love is the way to figure out what colors suit you. I'd probably then do some VB lip to cheek, give myself a stronger lip like that. Put some more on my cheek. I might do some Miracle Blur, actually, because I'm feeling that, you know, I just want to look at those elevenses and do that. I'm doing this very quickly because I want to show you how I go tonight, and it's quite nice with this outfit. There, done. Now I want some earrings, and I couldn't decide with my earrings which ones to go for. When you wear Sports Lux, which this outfit is, you just got to decide how blingy you go on the earrings. So option number one is an earring I got from Ericsson Beeman, but I just love the color. Colors, the subtlety of those colors with this. And option two is another, funnily enough, I think this is also Ericsson Beeman as well, more glam earring, you know, like that. So I'm gonna put on my final look. Really old H&M coat. So happy I got this coat because it's just such an expensive looking fabric. So there, and then I'm thinking, do I want to do the white trainer? I could do the white trainer, but maybe I'm going somewhere a bit smarter. So I'm going to do a little bit more shimmer metallic great way to introduce yourself sequence and i'm going to do a wedge because i think for me when i wear a kind of sweatpant i'm better with perhaps a wedge than i am with a stiletto it depends on your leg length and your ankle shape and lots of things but let me just show you that there so do i like that or would i want to have a closed toe i sort of think that works i like that so there you have it day to night using a bit of green and all you need to tell me is what do you think is the best earring a little bit of glamour just about to fall off my ear or more subtle